What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Nickel 335 Guide. Today we're going to be talking about the Loop Crash 2. Uh, this is one of my favorite plays in the in the whole book because I think it does a really good job against everything to the left side. Uh, I love the way that this play lines up. Now, it's very similar. The setups are almost identical to the Loop, uh, loop Crash 3, but I felt like it was you know important enough to, for me to at least show you how they work. Um, so my favorite pressure, obviously, to run out of this is the left side pressure. I feel like that's what the play is set up for, so I'm going to tend to run that a little bit more. Uh, the setup for the left side pressure is exactly uh, the same as the setup for the LB, uh, uh, Loop Crash 3. What you want to do is you want to base a line, you want to shift your D line to the right, you want to spread your linebackers. From that point, if you want it, you don't actually even have to re-blitz this backer uh, most times, but I personally recommend it. Uh, so you want to crash your line down and re-blitz that backer just to get in yourself in good habits. And then what I like to do is man this uh, guy up, Dunlap here, on this slot receiver if there is a slot receiver. If there's not a slot receiver, then I'll typically maybe drop him into a straight back deep blue zone. Uh, the way I like this is because it does a good job of taking away seams, which is kind of the vulnerability of a cover two blitz anywho. Um, also, one thing to take in mind here is that you as a user player, you need to get over in this left seam area. Uh, oftentimes, as a user player, I like to play the middle of the field, but uh, you'll see at the snap of this ball, I'm going to just sprint out there to the left side of the field, and you see the pressure is going to come in off that left side. I'll show you that one more time. Uh, what I like to do, again, base a line, shift my D-line to the right, spread my linebackers, crash my line down, globally reblitz my LOS linebacker. From that point, I can zone off or man up Dunlap. I will typically use the middle linebacker, and it's almost as if I'm using him into a curl flat zone until I get to the seams. So I'll let the computer run him out there, and then I'll kind of take a hold of him and bring him back over the middle of the field on a deep drop. So that's the left side pressure setup. Uh, real quick, I want to show you the right edge pressure setup. What well, again, it's very similar. We want a base line. We want to shift our D-line to the right. We want to spread our linebackers. From that point, we want to crash our D-line down. And just like the uh, setup the other day, we want to globally zone our linebackers. We want to globally re-blitz our ROS outside linebacker Harrison. And then from this point, what I like to do is the same kind of concept that I did with uh, Dunlap over here. I'll do that with Johnson over here. So I'll man up Johnson on a slot if there is a slot. If there's not a slot, typically I'll just leave him blitzing. Um, and then from that point, I can do a lot of things with Jones. This is a really good play for maybe if they're bunched to the left. This play becomes really, really good because you have the option to put Jones in the curl flat zone on the left side and then man up Johnson on the slot. And then all you, your whole zone is weighted to that side of the field. And you're still going to be able to get some pressure off that right edge. So there you see the pressure come in. And I want to show you that one more time. Uh, once again, what you want to do is you want to base a line. You want to shift your D-line to the right. You want to spread your linebackers. From that point, you want to crash your D-line down. Blitz the linebacker on the side that you want it to come from. For this example, uh, it's right, so we need to globally zone the linebackers first and then globally re-blitz the ROS outside linebacker. And then from there, since they're in a spread set, I'm going to throw Jones into a curl flat zone. I'm going to throw Johnson into a man assignment over there on that side of the field. And then if they're in a spread set like this, I'm going to do the same kind of concept where I'll take... I will take uh, Maluga and play him almost as if he's in a curl flat zone to go out there and then I'll rebalance him over the middle of the field deep and recover. So there you see right and left. Now I want to show you double edge pressure. Uh, so double edge pressure very similar uh, to yesterday. We want to base a line. We want to shift our D line to the right. We want to spread our linebackers. From that point we want to crash our line down and just re-blitz both that line outside linebackers. You see that we have set up here. Now what I personally like to do is I'm going to put both safeties and hook zones when I do this. This is kind of like my goal line play uh, or like my short yardage play that I'll run. And um, you could use the disguise cushion feature. It actually does a pretty decent job at still kind of monitoring the deep with the hook zones. But the way that they come down is really nice and you just get a really nice um, opportunity to sack quarterback. Now if they're running like if they're running Z spot over and over again, that's their play. What I would re recommend to this is the same thing I just said. You run the setup again, so base line, shift your line to the right, spread your linebackers, globally reblitz both outside linebackers. And then from that point you can make adjustments. And so what I would do if they were running like Z spot is I'll put both of these hook zones in the both stages in the hook zones, put the man align feature on, then base align, and then put the disguise cushion feature on. When you do that it's very because you're disguised cushioning it's very very hard here I'm gonna force a streak to the seams and you see that George Ilka is gonna make a great play uh, in the seams and and pick it off and that's kind of the power in this play especially when you use the disguised cushion feature is it looks like it should be open but it really isn't uh, so one more time I wanna go over the setup real quick because I was uh, went through it a little quick first couple times base the line 
Shift your line to the right. I want to show you how this looks with a blocking running back as well. Uh, crash your defensive line down. Spread your linebackers. Globally reblitz both outside linebackers. And then you're free to make adjustments uh, beyond that. And uh, here you'll see we should get that. They pick up the left side, but we're going to get that right edge pressure and clean at the quarterback uh, for the sack. So that's loop crash two. And uh, tomorrow I think we're going to talk a little bit more about the cap blitz two roll uh, since that is the strong right version.